Okay, so today we are in Newbury Town Centre and this is the fourth day of our uh, campaign for water safety and drowning prevention week. Now, we've been going around the county uh, trying to increase knowledge or awareness about the concerns that we have with how many people are drowning in the UK rivers. But what you can see here, one of the watches at Caversham Road Fire Station, Red Watch, they've designed what we're calling a drown tank. And the purpose of this is to show people exactly how you drown or why you drown around a water feature such as a weir. Now, if you have a look down here at the moment, we've got quite a lot of water flow, and this is just trying to replicate um, a weir in flood conditions um, when lots of water is coming. So what we're trying to show people is that if you were to drop in the weir here, under normal circumstances, or more lock, you're more likely the helping hand over there, you'll just come straight out. So it'll just pop in and go over the weir and it'll come out. Okay? But the big difference now is that if we change the level of the water, now the first thing you can see here is there's a big drop coming down here. And the other big problem we've got is there are a lot of bubbles in the water. This makes the water sort of very light, it's got lots of uh, buoyancy in here with bubbles, and that affects how you can swim and get out. The real big difference now is if you put us back in here and you go over the weir, up in there again, instead of you being pushed out of the weir in the water, you get caught up in here, and it gets like a washing machine effect, and you simply can't get yourself out of the water. And even if you think, oh, I'm a good swimmer, and I, if I got out to here, I would be safe, then it isn't either. It will just keep pulling you back in. And what we call this is recirculating water, and that will drag you back in, and it will keep dunking you underneath. So on the both sides of here, on there and on there, it will keep pulling you back, and then keep drowning. And of course, there'll be the cold water effect that you have, uh, with your muscles getting tired, with um, your hyperventilating, your heart rate's increasing. Eventually, um, you will drown, you'll start taking in water, and you get tired, and this effect will just keep pulling you there. So, it's quite visual, and it's just a complete change in what happens when you change water levels. We're telling people never ever to jump in our waterways. Don't ever ever go around any of the water features on the Thames, such as locks and weirs. And this is now showing you why we don't want people under there.